Hello, hello, Edson Oliveira here for the Solo Coder. Today I'll be talking about separating business accounts and personal accounts. So you may ask, I'm just getting started. Why do I need to have them separate? Well, I'll, I'll challenge you to separate them up as early as you can do because one, psychologically, it will be, a, it, at least it was for me, when I first set up my, my business account, it was a small win for me. It was a little step towards a longer term commitment that I was doing. But let's put that aside. Let's put the psychological stuff aside for a second because I'm going to get back to that and talk at, uh, take a look at the very practical reasons why. It will help you or your accountant to, to see which expenses you're going to be able to claim for the business and which ones are personal. So that on its own is enough of a reason to separate them because you can have a clear picture of what is coming in and what is going out from the business. You are not mixing things like a shopping, uh, grocery buying, you know, your, your partner's expenses. You are not mixing things up. You can see, have a clear picture of what is coming and what is going because you can look at your business account and you can decide, you know what, this is the amount that I'm going to take in, that I'll be taking out as a salary. And then you can withdraw that salary to your personal account. It will make it psychologically as well. It will help you to set aside your, your salary. You know, this is the chunk of money that I'll be taking from the business, even if it's a part-time basis, you're going to be able to see, you're going to be able to decide which amount you're going to be taking out of the business because over time, you're going to see how important it is to leave some money in the business as well for business expense and growth. Because you can budget your business too. You, you, if you keep them separate, you're going to see, you're going to realize how much you can spend for the business and how much you can, of course, take from the business. But Again, if everything is mixed up together, it's very hard to draw that line. Very hard. Just try to visualize that. Because it will help also the other members of your family to realize that, hey, this is business and this is personal. And if you look back and if you have everything in the same account, it will be very hard for them to distinguish that. They will not even have time to try to distinguish them. Now, let's talk about the psychological aspects of it, which I think it's important as well. You will feel good about that. It's, it's a milestone that you're going to be crossing. You know, you're, going to think, you're going to feel that you are stepping towards your long-term commitment. At least it helped me. It helped me to solidify my commitment to my business. So how do we go about that? Now, of course, you can talk to your accountant. You can discuss more details with him or her, but very simply put, I would do two things. I would open a checking account. If you have a corporation already, it might go under that corporation name. If you don't, it will go under your name as well, but open a, um, a checking account and open a credit card, a new credit card as well. Get a new credit card as well. So on that checking account, you're going to deposit whatever you know you make in terms of uh, revenue from your part-time or full-time solo coder career. And on that credit card, you're going to be paying for business expenses. Also, receipts. Receipts might be a, a different topic, but keep receipts, expense receipts separate. Your personal receipts, your business receipts. You may even want to consider a little scanner. At least here in Canada, I can scan everything and just keep the digital copy of the receipt. I get rid of paper. So you may want to consider that at the end of the day, talk to your accountant, have an accountant. And I have a ramble about that. My bottom line here is that I really recommend separating business and personal to make your life easier, to help you establish a commitment to your new business, to your part-time business or to your full-time business that eventually you might be getting there as well. That's it for my ramble. Question for the Slack peeps. For the YouTube viewers, you can comment below. Do you have a separate business account and personal account? Yes or no? Why you don't? Why you do? Thank you very much. And that's it for now. Bye.